Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your Keurig K Supreme coffee maker if your add water light won't go out. So up here you've got an add water light. If that light won't go out and you've got your, your water reservoir full all the way, I'm going to show you a couple things that might help get that to start working again. So what I'm going to show you holds true for all, for all K Supreme coffee makers. They sell a K Supreme Plus, K Supreme Smart. So what you're going to do is fill the water reservoir up. Take your water filter off if you've got it. But I call this prime in the pump. So you're going to set your water reservoir on and off about 20 times. You're going to see air bubbles coming in. What that's going to do, that's going to force water through the piping. You may even start to get a few drips out there. That's normal. That's okay. This may be all that it needs. Now I'm going to show you the inside. And here I've got one opened up. So the water comes down through this port right here. And it's going to go into two spots. It's going to go to the pump so that it can make the coffee go through the heating element. But there's another port that goes into this water sensor. It's a little hard to see, but over here on the side, there's two wires going into a box. And the water level is going to change in there according to what's in the water reservoir. And the way it does that is there's a vent tube. So there's a vent tube that goes up here to this port. So up here is the vent tube. So that is vented to atmosphere. And there's an opening right here behind it. You'll see it's a little opening. That's vented to atmosphere. So as water rises in the tank, water is going to rise in that tube because the other end of that is open to the atmosphere. And that's where the, the sensor is. It's in that little line going there. So when the water lowers, it's going to go down and the sensor will notice that it has low water. So what happens is that port can get clogged. So right behind the lid, you'll see right there. See that port? That's where that other end of that line goes. That can get clogged. So here I have the one that I have not taken apart. You can still access that. It's a little tricky. It's down in that little area right there. Okay, so if you partially close the lid, there's that port. You can see it's the top one on the left that I'm shining the flashlight on. You can get in there with a, like a brush or something and kind of blow that away or maybe like a va little vacuum, kind of suck that away. See if that area is obstructed. Now, if you do need to open it up, I do have another video. That's how to reset the thermostat. So when there's a thermostat inside here that needs to be reset with sometimes with a, uh, when you lose all power to the machine, you can reset that therm overheat thermostat. I got in that video, I show you how to open it up, but you could now sometimes those sensors just go bad and you know, it, there's nothing you can do except replace the sensor, but I don't know where you get the sensor. But you could kind of take that tubing apart, kind of make sure that line is completely cleaned out, you know, um, but other than that, and then you could take, you know, you can take a little bit more apart here and follow the tubing, but I would try the priming, making sure the vent tube is open and see if that works. You know, and various things, you can get coffee grounds back here sometimes. Sometimes a bug will go back here and kind of make a little nest or something. So you never know what you're going to find back there, but I have fixed a case Supreme, uh, by clearing out that little area right there. I hope this video helps. Thanks everybody for watching.